right, well, we're in the Trask area. Exploring around here. Went for a little putt last night. And uh, as a crow flies, we're only about four miles away from the last time I went to Brown's camp. I can see on the ride command my trip from uh, last time I went to Brown's camp. like they all tie together. Pretty neat area. Let's explore around here and see what we can find. Go from there. I'll show you some of the sights along the way. Well, we finally got up above the clouds. It was nice down in the bottom and we were cruising on the road and got in the fog, couldn't see nothing. Now we're above them. That really looks cool. Uh, hopefully there'll be another good spot like that. That'd be a neat picture. But just cruising down the logging road. I think we're on Gold Spike Road. Or Golden Spike Road. Heading towards Stone Road. See where it goes. See what we see. Definitely see what we see. <laughs> Ooh. Might be a photo opportunity up here. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. I think I'll stop taking a picture. Man, that almost looks like it's a lake. <laughs> oh, man, that's cool. I'm going to take a picture. Up here on where they thought was Stone Road, it gets up there and then it's blocked off. So, I don't know, zero in, maybe we need to turn back there. Yeah, we'll go back and take that other road. I don't know about you guys, but that's just damn beautiful. I think. The clouds, up above the uh, being up above them that <laughs> looks uh, it's cool I don't know what we're at we're at like 600 650 feet something like that so we're not super high or, no, I think my GPS says meters that's okay anyway Something like that. Alright, so now we're on Stone Mountain Road. We're supposed to be able to go down this and get on Trask River Road West. This parallels Trask River Road. So, uh, see what happens. See if this one goes through. Definitely more scenic. It hasn't had a logging operation going through here in a while, so got some trees down. I might be able to squeeze through. It looks like I might have to get saw out. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah. Inches of room. That's all you need. Alright, we'll go down here a little more, see what we find. So, is this an animal trail or is this a single track? Well, that's a good question. Alright, we'll bring you back when I find something a little bit different. Well, this road's not traveled much. Lots of debris in the road. I imagine we'll get to a spot where they can't go any farther, but we'll see what happens. Someone's been through here at one point with something, but it's not, it's not very regular travel, for sure. 
there's some pretty spots you get in here and get some really green areas Keep on trucking a little while longer and see what uh, what we find. The road's looking a little bit clearer in this section. <laughs> Who knows what we'll have up ahead? Still motoring down the Stone Mountain Road. looks like the kind of country you'd see some animals. It's not crazy steep. So you think deer and elk and critters like that would want to hang out here because there's, there's coverage and there's places to lay down and all that. So this kind of crap sucks. No indication at the top that there's a gate at the bottom. So you come all the way down here and then you gotta turn around. What a bummer. Well, that gate said no trespassing. You're in jail, $6,200 max fine. So apparently we need to get out of here. But since it was a named road, I didn't even think to see whose land it was. I do now. It's David Anderson. Anderson, huh? Huh. So, on the Polaris GPS, it's green, and I thought green meant state, but it must not. So, we'll mosey back out of here and try not to uh, tear anything up, of course. Tread lightly. Here we go. So, we're back to these trees. I just barely made it under there because I'm a little taller and a little wider but uh looks like there's all kinds of room when he goes through <laughs> okay well we looked at the onyx a little more it looks like we're on Tillamook state land state forest so there is a spot up here that you cross through a timber company so maybe that's why there's a gate Very interesting. Just to keep people out of here from down below. I don't know. Anyway, we'll mosey out of here and, and not disturb anything. So a little piece of information if you're trying to decide whether to run your sway bars or not. When I'm going in through bumps and there's little drainage dishes and stuff like that even if there's a log I gotta go over my front end takes it really easy because there's no sway bar the suspension can work independent but when my back goes over it kind of tosses a whole rig because they're tied together so as long as you're not gonna be doing high-speed cornering Having all the sway bars off would be the best ride. You just don't want to do any high speed cornering because you're going to have a lot of body roll. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that in there. Still making our way up back out of this road. Getting back into the fog. Looks like we got to go all the way back the way we came. Get back to camp. So, uh, go all the way back up this road onto that main road that they just did all logging off of. Now will take us right back down to our camp, which is Hollywood Hills Campground. So, uh, we'll just keep motoring. Okay, so this is just down the road from Hollywood Hills Campground. We came and checked this out first. You got the river flowing right there. And there's a couple of campsites up here 
that are uh, right on the river designated sites that have a fire ring so you can have a fire this time of year but it looks like somebody's living or long term or something in one of them and there was someone in the one next to it last night so we weren't able to get those but, uh, it's a pretty good option down here it's a pretty good size like party one here it's got some stuff there where did he go there's a little trail right next to the so there's a little trail right next to the camps I was talking about. So we'll go see what's up here. Yeah, I don't think this is for a full size rig. here once before with his son-in-law and they uh, they went up here he said it's a pretty neat little trail so we'll check it out see what it is it had no designation on it so I don't know what its purpose is yeah there's been side-by-sides on this okay oh, it looks like it comes out on the road back on the road we were on Okay, so it's just a cutover trail. Oh, it just crosses the road we were on. Okay. Well, I'll see what he just said. This is cool. There was a little single track trail that went off of this back there. It was pretty steep, though. Uh, with the ground kind of dry like it is right now, probably wouldn't be bad, but if it was wet, I don't see going up that. That's kind of cool. Sharp turn. where the single track came out and been used in a little while might not be able to see it in the camera that's someone who really knows how to ride I don't think I'd go up that one a little steeper than uh, I like alright we'll keep cruising down this Not a hard trail by any means, but kind of fun weaving through the through the woods here. cameras never do it justice but there's one of the trails off of this trail this starts out okay and then it goes <laughs> that is going up quick wow so that looks like someone just playing tearing up the side of the trail they didn't go anywhere but you think somewhere here real soon we can come to that hill climb Maybe that's where that comes from. I don't know. Oh, that spot back there that I said looked like somebody's off the side of the road playing. It cuts across. It did come up here. Beautiful scene. 
scenery. Well, I think the trail that we're driving on would be fun on a bike. I want to take those side parts and just riding on the bike that I'm driving on. I think that'd be pretty fun. some of the single track trails here that I would enjoy but not one like that back there way too steep for my blood look at all this firewood little trail going up off of the road starts out fine but looks like it's pretty rutted and narrow up there toward the top go ahead and try it I'm not sure if it just, I'm sure it comes up, but I don't know if it turns into a motorcycle trail. Yeah, I don't think I'd get stuck, but I'd be... I'll look at the other end and see if it's a single track or not. I'd be driving on my side, it looks like. Dragging brush the whole way. Hey, right, here's another little trail off of the main road. Let's see what it's like. Here they just got a little trail parallel on the road. Going up and over and back down. Looks like there's an obstacle up there he's having some difficulty on. Let's see what it is. Maybe he was just playing, trying to go over the stumps. Radio 
fell off. But... Oh, it don't look like nothing from here. <laughs> That's funny. All right, well, I gotta go back that way, so I guess I'll go up it again. This time, maybe I'll take the radio off over my head so it doesn't fall on me again. I don't have a mount that... Mount doesn't hold it quite yet, so move that. See if I can go up it slow. slow. <laughs> Got a couple holes in it now. People will appreciate that. There. Now they're filled back in. trail cuts from one road to another these are cool up oh, 10 cents a cool trail there's a bunch of them up here to explore on some of it's a little overgrown too bad. like that's it. Comes back out already. It was just a little crossover trail. Yeah, that was still fun. Let's see, what was it called? Grass Mountain Trail Runners. Open to. Well, alright, well. See what else we can find. If you can read that this is one that's called elevator shaft trail most difficult let's see what we got <laughs> <laughs> 